Walker, but she hasn't lost a match all year. No, she has not. Uh, three times she's won here at uh, Roland Garros. Um, Steffi Graf has had uh, a little bit of uh, problems injury-wise. She, you know, troubled with her back. That's a question mark. She had some flu earlier on. So she hasn't played a lot of matches coming into Roland Garros this year. She had to pull out of Berlin, but uh, it's hard to go against Steffi Graf. The Kutzer has won her first game. It's two games to one. Sabatini in the first set of this best of three set second round women's singles match. Now let's check in on court A, Tony and Mary. All right, Cliff, well, Steffi Graf and Petra Beger are on serve. This is Beger serving at 1-2, 40-15. so games are now 2-all. Mary, some, somewhat of a slow start. Uh, Graf is spraying the ball around. She's already had a double fall. She's uh, made some unforced errors. But I like this Petra Beger, only 20 years old, as we mentioned, also from Germany. She's already questioned a call, made the umpire come down off the chair. and uh, She was right. She was correct. On her behalf. Yeah, she seems pretty undaunted do you uh, think that's it. because uh, you know she says well I don't have a lot to lose I guess so I guess so but you know she's got a, a two in the back and she doesn't play exactly like her idol Steffi Graf and she's going for it she's starting out strongly and again another error from Graf yeah, who's uh, having a cold start about a half hour before this match began uh, Groff was out here practicing and never once took off her warm-up and was having a little bit of trouble with her serve I don't blame her it's cold out there yes it is so two all, love 15. And now Begaro misses as well. She was a qualifier here last year, Petra Begaro. And she made it through a couple of rounds and then upset Meredith McGroff, 9-7 in the third. And then lost to Julie Allard in three tough sets in the second round. So she likes playing here in Paris. Oh. What do you think it's like playing against your idol? I mean, is that, does that make it easier for you, or is it tougher for you? Well, what she most admires about Groff is her fitness level. I mean, Steffi Groff is truly one of the fittest women players, really, since Martina Navratilova. I think it's her professionalism that Groff inspires and beggar more than anything else. A nice, easy smash for Steffi Groff. Gives her a 40-15 lead. I have a feeling now that Groff is... Uh, has got her feel for the day. She could make quick work of Begaro. But I like this match more than the one that's going on in Court Central because at least these two are, are not giving away so much court. Now, look at her. Begaro stepping yeah, right yeah, in there on the court, up. unlike Kutzer, who's playing from 15 feet back. So Steffi Groff now leads three games to two in the first set. On a cold, chilly, windy day here at Roland Garros, we're on court A with the number two seed, Steffi Graf, waiting to return the serve of Petra Begaro, who was serving at 2-3 in the first set. She's had a few problems with a toss. She sort of yanks that ball up in the air, and it gets away from her sometimes. Bottom half of the draw action, as Cliff Drysdale mentioned, Mary Jo Fernandez, the 13th seed, lost yesterday. So too, did, so too did the 10th seed, Natasha Zverva, both of whom are in the bottom section. Groff is destined to play another German player, Anke Huber, the 11th seed, if they both make their way into the round of 16. Nicely done. You get the feeling that Graf wants to take advantage of that young lady's serve. She stands inside that baseline, particularly on the second serve. See where she was playing there, but this had a good reply. Steffi Graf is one of the best returners in women's tennis. I thought Monica Sells was the greatest return of server I've ever seen. But she's been out now for over two years. Yeah, it's too bad. 30 love. Oh, 
one thing about Groff that I always enjoy is how quickly she plays the game. You know, in between points, she just wants to get at it. <laughs> I think that's the way everybody should play this game. Not a lot of fuss. No, and on a horse around, it's like she's double parked, you know, and she wants to get, get the car moved. Yeah, see, that's some of the pressure I think that Graf is putting on her by standing inside that baseline. So I'm going to thump your second serve. Also, I think, Tony, that Petra Begaro's serve, uh, her, her toss does not lead into, she doesn't lead her toss into the court. No. So she's hitting from behind her an awful lot. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, now break point for Graf. Uh, over on Court Central, Sabatini leads Kutzer three games to one in the first set. So a break point here for Graf. So, first break of the match, and it goes to Groff, who now leads four games to two in the first set. Steffi Groff tips Conchita Martinez as the form horse in the women's draw, but you have to take Groff pretty seriously. She has not lost a match in 1985. She's 19-0 now. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. And is she deflecting a little attention from herself to a Martinez? That might help her, too. I don't think so, Tony. I don't think Groff plays those games at all. She is so straight up and down when she talks in a press conference, and I, I don't think she's got any reason to play any kind of psychological games with the other women. I think she's just giving all due credit to the great yeah, form of the Spaniard, Conchita Martinez. Yeah, I wasn't thinking so much of the players, but of the press who will maybe get after Martinez and talk, not get after, mm -hmm. but talk to her more and let Steffi have a little bit of a rest. Groff uh, off the court is an awful lot like Groff on the court. She wants to get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of thoughtful oh, press conferences. That was long. Of course, Steffi Groff has been suffering with a bad back which really kept her out of action for the last several months of 1994. I think it was a real mistake for her to try to play the Virginia Slims Championship. In days, she was not able to play, so that's why she feels that she's not the person who's uh, in the best shape on this, on this clay. Looks pretty comfortable out there right now, though. Up 4-2 and now point for 5-2. Forty fifteen. If you were playing against Graf, would you take a little more time between points? Uh, I mean, not extra time, but you know, make her sort of wait a little bit, slow her down. I try. I try everything. Steffi's do my have... nails. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta brush my hair a little bit. Paul stands. A beggar rose circled the mark, and Steffi took a look and said, OK. So 40, 15 seconds serve. Graf leading 4-2 in the first set. So Graf now leads five games to two. When we come back, we'll go out to court one and take a look at Martina Hingis. And now we're going to come back to court A, where Steffi Graf is playing Petra Begaro. Graf has won the first set 6-4, and it is 5-3 in the second set. Or as Cliff Drysdale likes to call it, court number A. <laughs> a lot of people don't call it that, but Cliff does. So Groff serving for the match here. Yeah. This is second round action. Oh, 
Groff continues to make Several errors. Points. They're not going to hurt her because Begaro cannot stay with Groff even when she is having a sloppy day of it. But Groff won't be terribly pleased with, uh, with this performance. It takes an awful lot for her to please herself. Gazelle. 15 all. She is hard on herself, isn't she? She really is. very uh, demanding, and that's, that's why she's a true champion, because, uh, you know, she can win a match, what we think's handling, go right back out and, and practice some more. She says, I, you know, I didn't like the way I was hitting my backhand or my serve, and she goes back to work. Tony, Steffi admits to being what she calls dark emotionally, <laughs> and, and she really is. She's even thought in the last several years of retiring, but now she's committed to playing at least a few more years. I think she desperately misses the rivalry she had with Monica Sellis. I agree with that. Now 30-15. Begro taking a little extra time trying to slow Groff down. Steffi likes to get up there and serve quickly. Two match points now for the number two seed. Again, Begro slowing things down. Steffi Groff, the number two seed, advances six to the third six round four. with a 6-4, six, 6-3 six, victory over Petra Begaro. And Mary, uh, what do you think about Steffi today? Well, it took just a, a little bit over one hour, and that's pretty much a uh, routine for Steffi Groff. Again, uh, Tony, she hasn't played her best tennis, but hey, she's only played two matches and she's still got five to go. I still think she's somebody we should be watching. She's in the bottom section of the draw. The next time, perhaps, she'll be challenged is against Anka Huber, the 11th seed in the round of 16, but uh, she's never lost to her. So I have a feeling Groff should make her way to the final weekend. Well, Steffi Groff, uh, though she made some errors today, looked pretty solid, pretty sound. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll go back to Cliff and Betsy on Court Central.